Hey, good morning everybody. And uh, my name is Laura and welcome back to my channel. And hi my MS team and how, uh, hi all my uh, subscribers. I'm going to make, today I'm going to make a uh, apple crisp. So right here, if I tilt down, I have about three cups of apples and I have a, a greased uh, dish. This is about a one and a half quart dish. So I'm going to take the apples and put them this was about four apples that I sliced up. Oh, I don't want that piece to get stuck. Oh, there goes my oven. So I got about three cups of apples. And to that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of flour, a quarter cup of sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then I need a tablespoon of water, which I will get. We actually will add that to the apples. Ooh, it smells good. So we're going to combine it. I'll just grab the fork. So we're going to combine it. Oh, my oven's preheated to, well, it just preheated. It's uh, preheated to 375. Okay. So there we go. We got them all mixed up. And then we're going to make the topping to get my pastry blender. Uh, or you can use uh, two knives. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut together a half a cup of rolled oats. I use um, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of, you can use margarine, but I use butter, and I cut it into um, small pieces. And it's been sitting out a little bit, so. And a third of a cup of brown sugar. And you're going to cut that together. This is going to be the topping. Yeah, if the butter was a little bit more softened. You're gonna do that till it makes a nice little crumb. Whoop. Nice little crumb topping. Okay, so we have the crumble mixture made up, and we're gonna sprinkle it on top of the casserole mixture we have here of the apples. This is a good little dish. It's cold here today where I am in Florida. It's very windy and uh, very cold. But it's sunny, but so that's what it looks like. And we're going to put it in the oven um, at 375 degrees for about 35 minutes. And we'll be back to, I'll be back to show you how it looks. Well, the uh, <clears throat> the cobbler is no, I did not cobbler. It's crisp. While the apple crisp is baking, I thought we'd have a little bit of a MS chat. And uh, yes, I'm wearing my I do what I want T-shirt. I'm not a fan of cats, but um, you know, it's a funny it's a funny little T-shirt. Anyway, yeah. So far. Uh, um, MS wise, you know, the Abagio seems to be doing its job. I haven't had um, too many issues. I do get tingling 
especially when I'm driving, I think it's the way I sit. If I sit in an uncomfortable chair, or I am uncomfortable, or I'm tired, or I get cold, <laughs> it seems like I'm just basically uncomfortable. It causes, it causes tingling in my right arm, and then it likes to kind of travel down my right side of my body, which while I'm driving, it's fair, you know, it can be a little bit, it's irritating. It's not dangerous or anything like that, it's just irritating. Um, but, yeah, but that's pretty much all I've been having. Um, I've been having a little spasticity, but the baclofen seems to be helping with that, so um, I'm appreciative of that. I don't see my neurologist until um, May fir March 1st, so next month I'll see him and uh, we'll go over my blood work and stuff. I have, uh, you know, when you're on Baggio, you're supposed to check your uh, liver functions, so to that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm going to get my, uh, I believe, my second check. And, um, yeah, but he, he thought that a Baggio would probably work well for me. And um, it seems to have. I, I haven't had any of the bad side effects, like as far as hair loss. Um, I'm just thinking if I have too much, I don't know, I might just shave my head and crochet myself a cute little beanie. But I don't know. That would make me look maybe a little bit worse than I already you know, do sometimes. But anyway, um, yeah, but in maybe in about maybe four months or so, I'll probably get another MRI to see if the Abagio is doing its job. But uh, yeah, um, that's all I have to say about that. And we still have about maybe about 20 minutes for it to bake. So I will catch you guys when it's done. Okay, so I'm back and I just took the crisp out of the oven and I'd like to show you guys how it looks. And there it is. Of course now it's very hot to eat. I mean hot to eat, yeah, very hot to eat. Anyway, but uh, I hope you like this uh, video and um, I hope you like the recipe. I'll link it down in the bottom for you. And um, yeah, so it'll be a nice thing to try if you have any extra apples. I've had these apples kind of hanging around on my countertop for a little while so I thought I'd use them so anyway yeah um if you like it you know just give me a thumbs up I really appreciate it and um I'll talk to you guys later bye